Casey Winskid here with my latest build using the Devil's Canyon CPU from Intel. We're going to be doing some benchmarks, but first things first, the case. What am I using here for this build? The Bet Phoenix Pandora is what we're using because after looking it over and deciding what would be best for the micro ATX board that I'm using from MSI, this one really fits the bill. It's got enough uh, room for me to maneuver and install everything that I want. I'll be installing SSD drives, not regular 3.5 hard drives, even though you can install those, as you can see there, two of them. And uh, comes with some cooling. I'll be adding a substantial amount more of cooling. And, uh, well, pretty much I like the styling of that brushed um, aluminum, that metallic look. Okay, very simplistic, minimalistic view. As you can see, smooth finish. Uh, very elegant. I do like that. So um, this is really the case for this type of build that I'm using. Here's the other side so you can see the panel. The top power button, you've got your mic, headset, two USB 3.0s and the reset button right there. Now, toolless design here taking off the panels which is nice, okay, they do snap in very nicely in there. Here's a look at the glass as you can see. You want to show off all your components, you want to see how cool it looks and at the end of this video of course I am going to be showing that turned on so you can see what I'm talking about. Toolless design again, like I said, these clips just latch on there through the holes. Inside of the case, lots of room to maneuver, no optical drives. This is all about keeping it silent, keeping it stylish. There's a Blaze Patriot SSD drive that I'll be using, 240 gigs. I'll review that one separately so you can see benchmarks on that one. Lots of room for cable management on that side specifically. As you can see here, there's some... Uh, grommets there, some some uh, rubber grommets so you can route your stuff through and install also a drive behind that, three and a half inch drive. Five expansion slots, of course, because this is for smaller boards. No rear fan there, but I'll be in forcing one in there anyways. But it does come with two 120 millimeter fans, one at the front and one at the top. I'll remove the one at the top and put it at the front actually because I'm going to be installing a 240 millimeter radiator for water cooling. So there's a look at the back of the case. Very nice. 160 millimeter width on this. So it's a slim case. Keep that in mind. So there are going to be some limitations on where you're going to be able to put the cables. Uh, most of it is going to go on this side right here, which by the way, you can install another SSD drive behind that panel. On this other side where the CPU uh, cooler replacement is, well, there's some twist ties there, so you can have some thin cables going through, but most of the stuff is going to be here at the bottom. Okay, it's going to be bunched up, tied in, and hidden away back there. Now, taking out the front bezel, you can see that there is a large uh, panel there for your uh, filter, your dust filter, and uh, one fan which I'll keep, but I'm going to add the other fan, which is included at the top. And again, dust filters at the top. Very nice. So this fan here, I'm going to take this out and put it at the front. So I get two fans to bringing in cool air from the, uh, from the front. Now at the front of the case, you've got the LED logo from BitPhoenix, which you can replace with your own picture. Okay, it comes with the software, so you can download that and replace your picture easily. In the case, you've got the manual, some twist ties, all the uh, screws, the standoffs and uh, another logo so you can attach it in there if you want it and that's pretty much it so here's the case filled up with everything all the components most of them here motherboard graphics card from MSI the gaming editions I did add additional cooling of course with that large radiator as you can see those two fans at the front sandwiched in for a push-pull effect more than enough cooling uh, for this CPU to be honest and I'm going to demonstrate the results and the temperatures You're going to be really amazed on how cool things are running based on this setup I know some of you might be skeptical, but it's going to run really well and also the uh, the styling I mean the LEDs and the color combinations of uh, Makes it really look like a some people have called it like a rave because of the neon lights that are going on in there But hey, I like it looks great Lots of uh, room in that window to show off your components, as you can see, and the uh, even the Blaze SSD drive there from uh, BitPhoenix at the bottom of the uh, case shows off very nicely uh, there, so you can show the speed, the need for speed that we got here on this beautiful little system, which I've nicknamed Beastie, using the Devil's Canyon CPU from Intel. Uh, it's really packing in a lot of power in this tiny little mid-tower case. So... Click on the um, next video that I'm going to be uh, showing more of the components. Thank you, Bet Phoenix, for providing the Pandora. 
definitely recommend this case. I'm going to be showing more details on the cooling, the components, and benchmarks. So click on this uh, thumbnail image now to view the next part in the series of reviews for this PC build. Thank you for watching.